Oh, um. We're facing Zendikar. Yeah, he's just One playing spam. Remaining. Last one, CT. CT. I hear him. He's waterfall. Or waterfall? Or, really? I don't know. I, don't I think know. I heard stone, bro. He's waterfall. You were right. I'm Dude, this flash is so hard to watch because I feel like we're playing so lazy. It's a raise. She has no flashes. We know she's waterfall. Like, why the f don't we call high low? Why don't we say, yo, Jet, hold still? Sky high lows with you. And this guy hops up on this wall and they both hold raise. Like, why aren't we calling that? We're dead. Like, I'm leaving a, pull up, a player who's radiant who's live right now. I'll peek for you. I might actually just die for you. I got my two. How about. So we can see he's trying to coordinate that he'll bait for his arena. Now, unfortunately, his arena uh, got cleared because they did the hop up. They're close. Who knows? Probably Stream sniping more. or something. We probably should have killed at least one more between the two of us. Uh, we have I and suck, guys. And now you see he's dead, and so he's calling you till. He's like, we got I, we got suck. We throw suck. We throw I. Dead, dead. Could be anywhere. Hell. Oh my god, what a play. Uh, Perfect example. Thank you, Hiko. At lead. Okay, we're smoke player. Bet. We're playing Omen on Lotus, a portal 2. Bet. All right, we're duo with the sky this game. All right, we'll take a look. But you're you're playing in an elo that's lower than where you should be. So you're not being challenged as much as you should be. I can put a... Like here. So it watches the... Okay, got I'm it. I'm gonna throw a blind for you guys. Here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sight. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I say the one way here is a bit much. Probably chillax. Uh, we got rubble control. We got front control. And we already have three dudes here. I feel like the one way is like... You're just asking for them to cancel. And I'm down to ask them to cancel, but only once one of them's like out. I, I want to get some value first. One I mean, Jet comes out, so it's lit. But I think wow. um, if we look at the timing, you can see you're throwing it right here before you can see that they're coming out. And now they happen to come out. And now the one way is all of a sudden really good. It's really good. You got it? But the, you got lucky that the one way is good. Smoke's towards C, it sounds like. Go and see. I'm going to come help Waterfall. Okay, yeah, so... It's kind of annoying because your killjoy's not coming. I'll put a Valorant. But I wouldn't throw this smoke. I would throw a different smoke. Part of this is relying on my teammates to at least be somewhat decent. The smoke that I would throw. And you have to get used to doing that um, as you're getting up towards Radiant. Because your teammates will be decent individual players. Even if like their comms are bad or something. Like everyone in high high Immortal 3, low Radiant, they belong there for some reason. Uh, you, you don't get up there accidentally. And so they're usually pretty resourceful. And you have to learn to lean on that, especially as a smokes player. The difference between a good smokes main and a filled smokes omen is this smoke right here, in my opinion. Like I, the smoke you just throw or threw is the exact smoke. I'm pretty sure anybody who's filling onto smokes would throw without like a second thought. You just smoke off C main because that's where you smoke. You feel? But if we actually think about it at this moment, See, it sounds like Killjoy's got an alarm bot. She's got a molly. So if they're coming out, she can easily pop this molly. And look where she is. She's playing back site right now. And so if that was you on site right now, the smoke you actually want is the, the goofy top site smoke that goes right here. You want this smoke, actually. So one, she can use it this way. But two, she can come over here and fight with her molly and alarm bot during the run out. And this smoke is like sick for that. So this is really the smoke that... You, your killjoys ultimately wants like a, a really good player who's playing over here wants this smoke because it makes it a lot harder for these guys to come out because of the alarm bot and the molly but instead you're just throwing this like default smoke but that makes sense because if you were the c player i think this is the smoke you'd probably throw like the nat smoke i think you would throw this one if you were the c player but there's no reason you can't throw it here for the killjoy and you sort of have to trust that she'll play around that smoke in some capacity because if you look at the map she's got no help so we're either playing for retake or she's trying to get one and the the nat smoke is how you're gonna get one. Like, see. Shadows traveling. I'm gonna come help waterfall. So you see now that it's very easy for them to come out. Your killjoy has to come over here, and she, this is a very straightforward fight for the enemy team. So it's 50-50. I have flash in Now we're 44 retake. 
Which sucks. We're, we're practically losing. I have one flash, I'm gonna throw it then. I'm close, Ben. Close, Ben. I'm still main. Breach close, breach close. Close, left. I'm on, I'm on. I'm on, I'm on. He's at 50. Yeah, we could have smoked the bomb faster. This is fine. It's fine. All right, why are we here? Are they playing for an orb? Uh, four, three, two, two, three. Not really. We're just floating over C because we've contested A twice. That's fine. Okay, I'm gonna rewatch the pre-round. It's kind of fascinating that we're doing this though. He's like, let's hypothetically pretend the enemy team pushes A. Uh, they've got five rifles. Uh, it's our bonus round. Okay, so rifles, bonus, bow, bows. Sure, whatever. Um, I mean, let's look at it the A side. We're playing passive. One dude tree. If the enemy team hits A, we're f agreed. And I think that's fine because it's our bonus. And so we should take risk. But like, why wouldn't we just want Sky to come C to make our C fight even stronger? Like, we're already giving up A. Then let's put Jet on B or something. Or or sure, I'm down for her to like play stairs and spot A so we can rotate a bit faster. But like, I don't know. It feels like half committed. Let, let me look at the pre-round. Push a fast C here. I can play towards the waterfall area if you still put just, just put your turret on B. Okay. Yeah, we'll play three stack C this round. I can blind off your contact race. Yeah, I think we just miss it. Because A is essentially, like, it's this is essentially zero people. This is not enough to hold A against rifles on bonus, so they may as well not be there. We could put them somewhere else where they might actually have impact on the round. Then we just hedge our bets and pray that they hit C. Oh, bet they're hitting C. That's a close yeah, you, you got to talk to this raise, dude. I, I know in the pre-round you said you'd flash for her, right? But that, that's very different than seven seconds in and she's been breach stunned and here's them pushing bound. It's very different now. Now you're basically asking this raise to trust fall into your flash. It's not going to happen. You got to be like, I got you raise. I'm going to flash this call when or whatever. Like, when do you want it? Or get ready to peek. Flashing now. Because now this flash does nothing. Even worse, we've burned our nade. We've burned our smoke. I thought we wanted them to push into us because if they pushed into this alarm bot and then we naded and smoked or whatever, we, we'd probably be able to kill one. The person who pushed out in front of the rest of the teammates, get the gun and reset. Wow, we popped our kill joint Molly too. <laughs> this just satchels out. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm not saying this won't happen in Immortal 2 or whatever, but it's going to happen less. And less and less and less and less. You won't get punished for your bad play as often playing in these lower elos. And you're playing in a lower elo because you're duo queue. Yeah. And so like your early util doesn't bite you in the ass again. It should have bit you in the ass on pistol. It should have bit you in the ass here. And instead it's like totally fine. Because she came out. I can't see. Bad sight. Ah, tough. Yeah. We lose anyways. All right. So here we just play for damage. Um, I think peaking high low right here is... The most consistent damage. Spike planted. One close water. One close water. Flashing? Yeah, like let's just pretend you're right above race right now. One on one race. Yeah, there was the fight right there. All right, let's play doubled up on A and C. We get KJ and Raze on C. We'll get Sky and Jet on A. And I'll just throw the one way for for A main. I don't like that you're calling before checking alt status. The very pen flash esque of you. Like that, this round would be way more predictable if this guy was seven out of eight, for example. And we didn't know that they weren't until right now. Because if she's seven out of eight, they're, they're not calling an A hit. Because the A orb is like unobtainable. You feel me? The, the B orb and the C orb are way more likely in that scenario. I just don't like that you didn't check before you called. Because you've already called. I'll play. Yeah, Raze is never going to want to play A alone. So you called it. But if I'm not Raze, I'd also be really pissed because the operator alone can't get value more often than not, especially as you get into higher elo. Because what's going to happen is if she plays backstairs, she's just going to get smoked off. They shouldn't give that fight because they know she has an op. And now what? A retake. Okay. She plays further up. Well, how's she going to grab a nice line without any any util? She's not because they're just going to throw the Jing nade out towards the orb, stop her from scaling up. And it just becomes like impossible for her to get anything on A unless the enemy makes a mistake and they're hit because Raze is not self-sufficient. It's a bit different if Jet had the out. Jet can sometimes go a bit more aggressive because her dash is 
more instantaneous but even then like i don't like it oh my god our buy you go heavy armor if you're eco sheriff cam on a yeah like this is just proof like there here's the cam like imagine they were pushing a they don't give any contact they cam they spot the op and now what do they do well they smoke it off but they or they cancel or something the op doesn't get any value we'll just go back to our round one setup three one one mm, i would have fucked with that stun b stun b come b Okay. So is this your plan pre-round? This is uh, the problem I have with this is I feel like you didn't have a plan if they rushed you B. Because if your plan was to fall back A link, then then why did we start the round up here? I'm just confused. Like what was the idea of starting up here? Was it if they pressure C, we're gonna flank? I just want that to be calmed in the pre-round because I don't see purpose in positioning here. I guess the raise ultimate, it could actually be really beneficial to play on these vertical platforms if you're playing to hold the site because Ray struggles to launch your ultimate upwards like imagine you're standing on this platform right now it's actually very awkward for me like I can still hit the ground but it's really tough actually for me to get like a good good line you can test a pixel for early info okay but we've got Killjoy's turret doing that so if you're gonna get early info because I've seen you play B now five rounds and you've never done that I've seen you jiggle this but that does nothing because your turret's been here all game looking yeah. deeper so if you're contesting a pixel for early info you'd be contesting up here i guess you haven't done this yet in okay. okay. b you did not get the planner one way back man ceiling ceiling nice nice I... They just all died. Vet. Okay, they're one off breach hole. Yeah, so like this round is, is C or B. I'm hoping to see a pre round that revolves around that. Like, could it be A? Yeah, it could. But if we're being realistic, it's like at least 70% odds that they're coming over on this side of the map because of the, uh, the breach ultimate status. Yeah, and here they are. And we're going to hear orb. There it is. And there's the breach hole. And especially now, since we know we're on eco, it's kind of unacceptable that we're we're not like more ready to counter this this play because this play is like so predictable from them. You see what I'm saying? It, it was th this is easily the sole read you go for if you're playing eco this round. You put your operator like B creeping out and four four C. Oh, yeah, and like what are we doing here? Did we not realize they have breach hold? Awesome. 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 AD race. Yeah, this round is just terrible. We just missed all the context clues. You missed the breach holds. You missed that we're on eco. We need to stack. Two more, two more. Two, <laughs> two more, two more. How many rounds are we going to win where our Jess just uh, kills them all? Two. They're both there. They're both there. Both? Okay. One enemy remaining. Yeah. Uh, He's rubble. Bro, don't even think about this. Group up with Killjoy. Call Ray's back. Let me triple up. There's no shot you're going to burn the Omen ult. Dude. Dude. You're actually giving her a 50. Wait, you actually giga through this. You, this is the opposite. You remember when I was in paint and I was talking about how when you play in an elo that's too high that your mechanical issues punish you and so you think your strategy is bad? You have the opposite problem where your mechanics are better than these idiots and so you make a bad play and you get rewarded for it. You shouldn't be killing this guy. I hit that? Oh my God, I'm the goat. No, you're not. See, and look, you're all hap hyped about it. <laughs> You have to go. You're you're killing ascendant players. Opening door. I'm gonna throw smoke for a tree door. Anyways, it sounds like you're looking for a friend, not a duo. Excuse me. Good, pick. good picks. Because if you like just care about ranking up, you don't really need a duo. And duos is like whatever. It's nice to have, but you don't need one. I've got front side P. What the fuck is our our I'm duo doing? Cover going out. My is it is five v three. Our goddamn duo is forty HP. Yeah, they're good picks. And they go back. I'm going to flash out of this smoke and peek and fight. Bro, ditch this guy. If this is your friend, play friend queue with them. You know, unrated, spike crush, whatever. This guy's not taking this seriously. Flashing out of smoke in 5v3 on 40 HP. I've got front side P. Someone's in tree. 
Yeah, you don't need frontside B right now, though. Like, let's be real. I'm looking at your duel right now because I'm getting mad at his terrible play. But I'm getting mad at your passive play, too. I guess it's fine. I think you should hold B more carefully, if anything. Like, let's pretend that there is, like, potential lurker. Uh, A site's not getting taken. That's for sure. So if they cancel and come on you B, uh, I don't like this position because I, d I don't think that um, you can guarantee your, your life. Here goes this. Oh my God, they actually threw. Jet hit seven. Bro. A difficult conversation to have with your friends. I mean, it depends on how you see Valorant ranked. Okay, like some people see it as a social thing, then it's fine. If you see it as a competitive thing, then it's not fine. It's two different environments. Wow, we they actually threw the whole ground. Three. Three less. <laughs> one unjustified piece of shit. Last player standing. One, one twelve, one twelve. Yeah, now you're gonna win the round. Bro, can you aim at body height, please? Two bullets. <laughs> the fuck. Nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, like. You're only winning the round because you're better. And I, I I, feel like I need you to lose this round and feel a sense of, could I have done anything more proactive? Because it felt really passive for us to be B while our teammates were overheating. Now, if they were all playing disciplined and playing back, I think it's, it's actually correct. Like if we're talking professional five stack Valorant, it's probably correct for the open player to stay B here because of how many people we have A. But the moment this guy starts doing this shit, we're no longer in professional Valorant. We're in solo queue Valorant and... I feel like you need to feel some pressure to play for this orb, take front B space, so you can ult and join the team. Smokes it down. Uh, Bro, are we? We're actually. This game is all jet diff. I'm gonna say it. You you've had a few clutches that where you got lucky, but how often is this guy just getting theirs with no support? Yeah. Ray's looking like me for real. Fuck the satchels. Jet tree is the raise. Breach is there. Breach is there. Okay, 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 okay. 4v3. We've used both smokes. Killjoy's planting where she can be spammed. This is a problem. Problem is, if this guy pings it and spams it like you should have done on that other round, then Killjoy's dead because she's not. She just needed to take a step over to the side, but she didn't. It was really awkward. You, you probably want to walk into this smoke. It, it's annoying, but because your Killjoy's planting mound right here, and you know, breaches CT. I think you need to stay right here. And if they start spraying your your plant, like you hear them over here, then you can shift walk into the smoke and you can try to peek out. And this guy will probably kill your planter, but you'll get the trade for sure in this scenario. Because like after they get the kill, they're gonna reload or something. You feel me? So we need to utilize our teammate here who's making a mistake. She's planting for mound with no CT control and she hasn't a pro tip, but this is you chat just literally planted over here and they'll miss the spam. Like you just take a couple steps. Anyways, we need to see Killjoy's doing this. This happens all the time. People plan for mound like this with no control and you need to stay right here. You start hearing them shoot, you shift walk in uh, and then you consider peeking. Um, I think your smoke is bad. You see how you threw it? It is bad. So your smoke needs to be more biased to the right here. Cover going out. Like this. So when they start spamming, you can peek here. You see how I've got all this room now? Your smoke was biased to the left shadows traveling and so you have the opposite problem now where you can get into this really tight space yours might even be more to the left and you could get very in a lot of trouble uh, breach is there breach is there so we're missing this this is actually round losing i'm sure you've been here too bro like i'm pretty sure if this is a mortal too this spam comes out oh man i really want you to get punished for this play because we need to fix this they don't even try they don't even try to spam what the f one waterfall two two waterfall i have money what are you doing this for man dude it's literally the opposite problem of what i was talking about you're like so willing to take these stupid aggressive fights because you win them more often than you lose them because you're playing an ascendant you as an immortal player like okay a bunch of fake stuff <laughs> Yeah. I went through a smoke for C. Cypher's on C. Yeah, so like, let's read into the smoke a bit. 
when you throw a smoke like this what are you doing you're rotating towards water this is what you do when you throw that smoke so that's better than nothing let's hit b what are you waiting for tell these guys to creep up b we'll open the door and we'll hit b unless you got something better they should they've got the world's slowest a anchor Another Another Rotating through C. This is like, I'm pretty sure you always call them back here. Yeah, you're gonna have to break this trip. There's two there already. I'm gonna throw smoke through your stairs. They go on my body. 55 breach. Because you can break all the cipher utility. You can take the site. You can place a deep smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop your smoke and can't tell them to come back. Oh wow! He's Tell them to come back. Like this is what I'm talking about. Why are we waiting for this? Tell them to come back. Yeah, yeah. What, the yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Why haven't you called the team back seven years ago? At this point is when your teammates should be booking it, booking it. C, because you've got so much space. One on B, one on B. No one C. C is completely clear. C is I'm not clear rotate, though. Like, like look at this, he's, dude. I'm gonna punch it. Like Omen literally beats them here. One CT. Yeah. One waterfall. Placing sentry. Both, both, both. Multiple both waterfall. Alarm bot. Kill my bot. What the hell? One enemy Locked remaining. I nice shot. They didn't come see. Nice. Papa nice. Joe has Joe? the Joe? round of a lifetime. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Those were the two nicest shots I've ever seen you hit in my entire life. Those are the nicest shots you've ever seen him hit. I love you so much. No, I know you. I know you're just risen him. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, baby. Yeah, we go, baby. We go. Nah, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, we got gun advantage. They're an eco. Let's five man rush B. Do I even need to tell you why that's not the play? Are you like crazy? Let's push the site with the highest variance and the most entrances on the round where we're the ones with the advantage. You want to go C? We, we have, we have dogs or stuff like that. Like we, go B. we can go B. I just feel like shotguns are even more prevalent over here. And we get crunched easier. I gotta get here. Yeah, I think it's just in the wording. You just want to go. I mean, I want to go B. You'd be like, you know what? I'm down. Let's go 1 1 3. Jet, you, you take some B space. I'll control C. We'll get some info. And we'll play it from there because they're on eco. Like, it's not like the Jet said, let's rush B or let's five sag B. I don't know. I would, you know, I'm an avid call follower, but here I would really try to stretch the truth of the call she made. <laughs> and now, if she insisted five sag B, then you're safe. But I, I, I think we could have done more. Save this is crazy. This is actually crazy. Let it break ball. <laughs> the f are these guys doing? That guy just dry peeked out, and then this guy just dry peeked out. What the f? They, they don't even breach stun. Breach stun is a free ability. Nice. 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 The C and B players, of course, play very passive and safe. They're not going to go hunting a fight because they're alone. Three A players start over here. And more often than not, the enemy on the eco is stacked. They'll start pushing A or C, like very likely. You just listen for that and you go the other way. So if the A players are like, oh shit, they're aggressing A, then you just you just push C. If the C players are like, oh shit, they're aggressing C, then you just push A. And so spreading the map like this allows you to gather information about how they're likely stacked. And you want to avoid that stack. The worst thing you can do is stack against them. Because if you all start A, for example, and it turns out that they're playing an A stack, then it's actually very hard for you to cancel because you don't have any control over here. And it, they could have a lurker who's pushed off C who gets to take a free kill on uh, your group rotating off. So having that that dude over here controlling that space is very important. Oh, circle, circle, circle. Stealing sight. Cover going I'm, I'm stunned, I'm stunned. Two here already. On my back side. I have no Holy shit. One more. I like how we're hitting Cypher Sight and we fought Jet and then Breach and now we're fighting Omen. <laughs> Out water. <laughs> the Cypher is dead as gone. The dude was like, well, I want. We're facing Zendikar. Yeah, he's just playing spam. Last one, CT. CT. I hear him. He's waterfall. 
Or waterfall? Or, really? I don't know. I, I don't think know. I heard stone, bro. He's waterfall. You were right. I'm playing oh, Dude, this boss is so hard to watch because I feel like we're playing so lazy. It's a raise. She has no flashes. We know she's waterfall. Like, why the f don't we call high low? Why don't we say, yo, Jet, hold still? Sky high lows with you. And this guy hops up on this wall and they both hold rays. Like, why aren't we calling that? We're dead. Like, I'm literally gonna pull up a player who's radiant who's live right now. I'll peek for you. I might actually just die for you. Oh, shit. I got my two. How about you? Two. How about you? So we can see he's trying to coordinate that he'll bait for his arena. Now, unfortunately, his arena uh, got cleared because they did the hop up. They're close. Too, Who knows? Probably Stream sniping or something? We probably should have killed at least one more I'm between the two of us. Uh, left side, uh, we have I and suck this. And now you see he's dead, and so he's calling you till. He's like, we got I, we got suck. We throw suck. We throw I. Colin, dead, dead. Could be uh, anywhere. I don't know. Hell. Oh my god, what a play. Oh, no, sure. Perfect example. Thank you, Hiko. Water. I have no faster One more. Out water. One enemy remaining. Last one, CT. CT. I hear him. He's waterfall. Or waterfall? Or, really? I don't know. I, I don't think know. I... You see, like, we go dead. First of all, it doesn't matter. We can just play mound. We've got two mollies. They don't have smokes. Second of all, you didn't call dead on the omen. You didn't call dead on the cypher. I heard stone, bro. He's water. Are you allowed to call one dead? Literally everything. You're only backseating if you've got one dude alive. If it's one dude alive... But, I mean, if it's your duo, you can still call for them. Um, pro players will literally backseat. Um, but yeah, you'll be called a backseater if you uh, if you calm in the clutch. So don't do that. But calming anything that involves coordination while you're dead is super lit. So, yo, wait, it's this race. She doesn't have smokes. Everybody go mound. We can play post plant. Bet. Bet. That is so good. Yo, Jet and Sky, you guys can high-low her. Jet, don't move. Just crouch. That's not backseating. You're telling Jet, who has to be in crosshair mode, that her teammate behind her is doing something. You see the difference? Because um, your Jet, who's looking at their crosshair right here, will never know that Sky's right behind her unless somebody tells her. Now, if your Jet's in the clutch, like you can't possibly make a calm like that because there's nobody behind her. She's your Jet's alone, playing 1v1. So at this point, the only thing you can calm is like reads and stuff, and that can be very annoying in solo queue. So don't do that. Close, unbox, unbox. Oh, shield. I'm blind. In what universe you stick that? In what universe? I'll tell you the universe. The universe where you're you're used to playing against Descendants. Yeah, I mean, the no, B no, hits no, have been like, working. Gotcha. So at this point, Still it's an acceptable call. Okay, let's talk about this crosshair placement now, though. So last round, I got mad. Uh, I took it back on the Cypher because he made a footstep, right? But this round is completely unacceptable that you don't come out aiming here. This is like the, the, the 58th B hit. And you know what happens? This guy peeks out of upper on the right side literally every time. How are you not adapting to this guy? He even flashed here, so you know Breeze is coming out. And like, this is our fight. Yeah, you actually lose because of it. Out heaven, out heaven. Nice. I mean, you lose a fight, not lose a round. Because this guy sucks. One more. Oh, bet, we lose the round. Come on, die, you piece of shit. No, you, you, you're so lucky. Every single clutch, every single one goes your way, dude. Come on. There's a lot of mistakes in the pod that are like, you've developed bad habits thinking you're, you're better. Because if we look, you are better because you're duoing with a noob, you know? I don't know, are any of these solo? Maybe I'm, I'm just dumb. No, they're not. You're developing bad habits because you're playing with somebody who's worse than you. And they're developing bad habits because they're playing with somebody who's better than them. At the end of the day, that's fine if you care about playing with your buddy more than you care about ranking up. But defense, do, do pre-rounding was not aware enough of economy slash maybe alt status. Example, playing two on A on our bonus is same as playing one or zero on A because they're not going to hold anyways so we should just stack even harder on the gamble du -du -du. your choice of duo partner is clearly influenced 
by your social friendship status. To do either duo with players of roughly equal drive slash skill or play solo if you are serious about climbing towards radiant. Attack. Attack was pretty good. We just get lazy and it's annoying. Biggest issue is your unwillingness to coordinate to do, do, do stronger duels mid round samples do, 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 do. call double swings from potential enemies instead of hoping your teammates trade coordinate teammates when you are dead on attack i want you calling more when you're dead a lot more and just in general you, you take so many solo duels like you just swing stuff and it seems i don't know it's almost luck based if the fight is 2v1 or 1v1 you know and you can make your own luck here. We got to play in higher MMR. You, you belong in higher MMR. And so this game is tough to review. Hey, Woohoo Jin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier three subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2,000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.